Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul for life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help
change your future starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Reed Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you. And let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You know you're not dead, but you can't get out of that coffin. You try every which way to lift that lid, but the dirt is so heavy, you can't lift it. You just say, today is the day I'm going to die. But then you say, maybe if I bang on the lid, it might unsettle all that heavy dirt. And maybe, just maybe somebody might dig their way down to help you. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know which way to turn. In reality, I can guarantee you there are people mourning your death, but, they, that, but you don't know that. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. With this, let me ask you one other question. Let me leave this thought with you. Did it ever come across your mind that abusing drugs and alcohol, that you might overdose and take something that was preciously given by the Lord Jesus Christ away from not only you, but selfishly and more selfishly, taking it away from your children, your grandchildren, your husband, your wife, your father, your mother. With this, I just want to leave this last thought. Don't be the person in the coffin alive, knowing that you can't get out, knowing you could have asked for help. Instead, be the person that reaches out and starts a new beginning at the very end of your rope. Today, call me at 844-405-HELP and I will help you take your life back before your life is gone. People like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741, 516-458-2741. Larry Geis is an addiction recovery coach, a life coach for over 30 years. You can find him at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Larry Geis and I always tell people like you, my audience, people that might have addictions to drugs and alcohol, people that might have low self-esteem, people that might be depressed. We always, Larry and I always tell you folks, it doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter where you've been. That will come to an end because today is a new beginning. Larry will help set a new goal for you for tomorrow, for a brighter tomorrow. But you need to call him at 516-458-2741, 516-458-2741. Larry Geis can be found at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Let Larry and I help you take your life back before your life is gone. We are going to make sure somehow that your end becomes a new beginning. Every end, as long as you're breathing and you have a pulse in your life, every end, as long as you have that, that pulse and you're breathing, you can start a new beginning, but you need to do it, and you need to do it before it's too late, like the person that I just read about on the index cards. We want to make sure, I want to make sure, that you have a brighter tomorrow. I, for one, was at my end, but I was still breathing. I still had a pulse. I reached out, and I looked for the best help possible to teach me how to live a sober life in recovery. I found it. These videos, my show, my websites is part of my rehab, allowing me 10 to 15 hours a day of continuous knowledge of drug and alcohol abuse, knowledge of how to talk to people about hope, gratitude. Today, let today be the first day of your new life, which takes me to today's topic, nine rules for turning endings into new beginnings. 
Every new beginning comes with some other beginning's end. When you no longer think of a reason to continue, you must think of a reason to start over. There's a big difference between giving up and starting over in the right direction. And there are three little words that can release you from your past regrets and guide you forward in a positive beginning. These words are, from now on, so from now on, listen to these nine things. From now on, let the things you can't control go. Most things are only part of your life because you keep thinking about them. Positive things happen in your life when you emotionally distance yourself from the negative things in your life. So stop holding on to what hurts and make room for what feels right. Do not let what is out of your control interfere with things that you can control. So from now on, accept and embrace reality. Life is simple. Everything happens for you, not to you. Everything happens at exactly the right moment, neither too soon new to, nor too late. God allows everything to happen. God knows everything that will happen. For everything you lose, you gain something else. And for everything you gain, you lose something else. You don't have to like it, but it's just easier for you to do so. So pay attention to your outlook on life. You can either regret or rejoice. It's your choice. So from now on, change your mind. Change is like breath. It isn't part of the process. It is the process. In reality, the only um, thing we can count on is change. And the first step toward positive change is to change your outlook. Change in your heart and your mind. Be prepared for the positive things. Prepare for new. Allow the unknown to take a fresh and for unforeseen areas in your life over. Growth is impossible without change. If you cannot change your mind, you cannot change anything in your life. Sometimes all you need to do is to look at the things from a different perspective. So from now on, hold tight to the good things in your life. When life struggles, knocks you into a pit so deep that you can't see anything but darkness. Don't waste valuable energy trying to dig your way out. Because if you hastily dig in the dark, you're likely to head the wrong direction and only dig a deeper pit. Instead, use the energy that you have to reach out and pull something good in with you. For goodness is bright, its radiance will show you ways that you can go up and illuminate the correct path that it will take you to. So from now on, rest and regroup. Strength isn't about bearing a cross of grief and shame. Strength is about choosing your path living the, with the consequences and learning from them. Sometimes you do your best and end up with a mess. When this happens, don't be discouraged. You tried. That's really all you can ever do. do uh, you have not failed. You have just learned what not to do the next time. So from now on, take chances. Making a big life change or trying something new can be a scary thing. But you do... Uh, but do you know what's even scarier? Regret. So realize that most of the fears are much bigger in your mind than they really are in reality. You'll see it for yourself as soon as you face them. Don't let them stop you. Live your life so that you never, ever have to regret the chances you never took, the love you never let in, and the gifts you never gave out. So from now on, keep climbing. Every person who is at the top of the mountain did not fall there from the sky. Good things come to those who work with them. You gain confidence and grow stronger by every experience in which you truly push yourself to do something you didn't think you could do. If you're standing in the place in, uh, of in between unable and unwilling to go backwards, but too afraid to move forward, then remember that you cannot enjoy the view without being willing to climb the mountain. So from now on, appreciate what you have learned. Nothing is more beautiful and powerful than a smile that has struggled through all those tears. Don't regret your time, even the moments that were filled with hurt. Smile because you learned from it and gained the strength to rise above it. In the end, it's not what you have been through defines you, but how you got through it that has made you the person that you are today, the strong person, and that person you are capable of being tomorrow. 
So from now on, realize every step is a necessary step. Nothing is ever wrong. We learn from every step we take. Whatever you did today was a necessary step to get to tomorrow. So be proud of yourself. Maybe you are not as good as you want to be or as great as you want to be one day. But thanks to all the lessons you've learned along the way, you're much better off than you used to be. Folks, every end can be a new beginning. You just need to utilize to sow the from now ons. Remember this, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. What had to start here has to end, and that end can start again at a new beginning. When you can no longer think of a reason to continue, you must think of a reason to start all over. There's a big difference between giving up and starting in the right direction, and there are three little words that can release you from your past regrets and guide you forward to a positive new beginning. These words are from now on. So, from now on, let the things you can't control go. I used to be one of those folks that tried to control each and every movement. I now let go of things I can't control. That's the way it has to be. So from now on, accept and embrace reality. Reality. Life is simple. Everything happens for you. You're not a victim. They don't happen to you. Everything happens to exactly the right moment, neither too soon or too late. God allows everything to happen. God sets the pattern to go for it. So from now on, change your mind. Change is like breath. It isn't part of the process. It is the process. In reality, the only thing we can count on in life is change. And the first step toward positive change is to change your outlook within your mind and your heart. So from now on, hold tight to the good things. When life struggles, knocks you into pits so deep that you can't see anything but darkness, don't waste valuable energy trying to dig your way out of there. But uh, Because if you hastily dig in the dark, you might dig deeper into the pit. Instead, use that energy you have to reach out and pull something good in towards you, maybe like a light. So from now on, rest and regroup. Strength isn't about bearing across a grief of shame. Strength is about choosing your path, living with the consequences, and learning from them. Sometimes you have to do your best and end up with a mess in your life. So from now on, take chances. Making a big life change or trying something new can be a scary situation, but you don't. But do you know what's even scarier? Regret that you didn't even try. So realize that most of your fears are much bigger than your mind than in reality. You'll see this for yourself as soon as you face them. So from now on, keep climbing. Every person who's at the top of the mountain didn't fall there from the sky. They weren't repelling out of a helicopter. Good things come to those who work for them. You gain confidence and grow stronger by every experience of uh, which you truly push yourself to do something you didn't think you can could do. If you are standing in the place in between unable and unwilling to go backwards, but too afraid to move forward, remember that you can't enjoy the view uh, without being willing to climb the mountain. So from now on, appreciate what you have learned. Nothing is more beautiful and powerful than a smile that has struggled through the tears. Don't regret your time, even the moments that you filled with the hurt. Smile because you have learned from it and gained the strength to rise above. In the end, it's not what you have been through that defines you, but it is how you got through it and how you ended up. And so last but not least, so from now on, realize every step is a necessary step. Nothing is ever wrong. We learn from every step we take. Whatever you did today was a necessary step to get to your better tomorrow. So be proud of yourself. Maybe you are not as good as you want to be or as great as you, uh, you, uh, you one day will be. But thanks to all the lessons you have learned along the way, you're much better off than you used to be. Every end, if you go by this analogy, every ending is a new beginning. It's almost like the paper doll effect. And beginning, end. Beginning, end. Beginning, end. Do you see what I'm saying? So just because today seems like this situation that you might be facing is at the end, it's in reality a beginning for something bigger and better, for a brighter 
future tomorrow. Folks, I can't stress that you should never, ever, ever give up. When you stumble and you fall, we all do. Stand up, dust your knees, stick your chest out and move forward. Regret is when you don't try to succeed. Lessons learned from mistakes are lessons that were learned and applied to a better tomorrow for better in the future. Let today be the first day that maybe your end is a new beginning. Let today be a great day for you. Let tomorrow be the best life that you ever wished for yourself, for yourself, your children, your husband, your wife, whoever. I am here at 844405 help to help you anytime you need help. All you need to do is reach out to me. You can text me if you don't want to verbally speak to me. 631-599-0218. Together, we all will fight for a better tomorrow. And may God bless each and every one of you. Yeah, change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Reed Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today
The show is over, but your life starts today Taking back your life's the only way Keep faith, stay positive, push through Take back your life, it starts with you Alcohol and drugs can't control your life Let go of the negative and the strife Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way The show is over, but your life starts today Call Ralph Friedrich at 1-844-405-HELP That's 1-844-405-HELP We hope you love the show today and tune in next time Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich